Originally, the play was about the, the midlife crisis of a, of a guy who turned 50, and, uh, and he's an architect, and he's a, he's a sort of a bastard. He, he deals with women in a, very, in a rather nasty way. He's divorcing his wife. He started sleeping with her lawyer in the meantime, and he's leaving both of these women, starting other affairs. And in the core of the play is his uh, belief that he's gonna live a sort of tran transcendent experience when he happens to have two women in bed at the same time. Swedish threesome, yeah. And uh, so he, he, it was, he, he wanted to get, get that as a, as a birthday present and uh, nobody gave that to him. But, but now it looks like he could achieve that. And, uh, and actually the whole play is about him organizing this threesome, uh, which, is a, which is a paradox because uh, at, at the point when he arrives at the point where he could have the threesome, he, he no longer wants it. So, so it's about, uh, it's about the, some things in your life that come too late and, and the opportunities you've lost and uh, the relationships you, you've ruined and, and all that, you know. So it's, it's what the middle, middle age is about. I've been working with three theatres intimately over the 20 years and David's case, one of the three. And in this play, I actually came back to the, uh, to the play uh, that I wrote for them 20 years ago, which was called Tales of Ordinary Madness. And it was about the crisis, of the life crisis of a guy who, who turned 30. And 20 years later, I sort of, sort of returned to the same similar topic uh, with the same main character, Ivan Trojan. And uh, I watched the character from a different angle and from the different age. So, so it sort of bookends, you know. And, and in the meantime, I wrote three other plays for this theater. They're, they're not only highly professional, they're, they're unique uh, because of the actors they have. And some of the actors you can't see anywhere else. They're just in-house actors. They just act in, in that theater, nowhere else. And, uh, and they're proud of that. And that it's very intimate, it's very intense. And it's a, it's a, it's a kind of acting that I like, you know. It's, uh, uh, reacting on, on one another uh, very fast, you know, so it's, it's very interactive and there's no, there's no falseness, you know, there's no cheating, you know, it's, it's very sincere. I'll be watching the audience, you know, see if they laugh at, at uh, certain, certain moments when I would expect them to laugh. For me, more or less, I would, I would be, <clears throat> I'd be judging the, the translation, probably. Because that's where we can start and we can, we can improve it and we can still offer it to some professional theatres, although the chance that some of them will pick it up is very small. So I'll, I'll focus on the, on the text and the audience.